Hey, 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 welcome back. So, today we're going to be looking at exercise number 71 in our Essential Elements book. But before we do that, I want to read the information, the historic information that they have in the book for you guys about Latin American music. Go ahead, read along as I read to you. Latin American music has its roots in the African, Native American, Spanish, and Portuguese cultures. This diverse music features lively accompaniments by drums and other percussion instruments such as maracas and claves. Music from Latin America continues to influence jazz, classical, and popular styles of music. This, this song is a popular children's dance and game song. So, the song that we're about to play is based off of a popular children's dance and game song. You could say, it's a folk song. Well, if you look at number 71, it says in the top right corner, Latin American folk song. Look at that. Okay, so, 71, the Mexican clapping song. Let's go ahead and go through our process. First thing we're going to look at is our clef hopefully your clef hasn't changed because if it did something's going on let's look at our key signatures flutes and low brass you have two flats good you have two flats think about what they are b flat and e flat great just making sure your alto saxes you have one sharp good just making sure and think about what it is F sharp, wonderful. Same as all the other exercises. My trumpets and clarinets, you guys don't have any accidentals in your key signature, no flats, no sharps, so everything is natural. My percussion, if you're reading the bell kit part, you have a B flat and an E flat. So, let's go ahead and look through the piece. Measure one, our dynamic is Forte, very good. Forte, loud. So we're going to start loud. Let's go to measure two. Nothing much has changed. We have a few different pitches. Same rhythm as the first measure. Measure three. We've ha we have a rest on beat two. And we also have an accent on beat three. So make sure when you get to beat three, you're putting more emphasis on that, on that note. You also have an accent on beat one of the next measure. Now, after that, you have two rests, and then we keep going. Let's go to the next measure. We have quarter notes. Go to the next measure, we have quarter notes. Slightly different pitches than earlier on in the piece. Let's go to the next one. You have a quarter note, quarter rest, quarter note. On beat three, you have an accent. And on beat one of the next measure, you have another accent. You have two rests, and you, then you have your repeat. Make sure that we're focusing on that repeat. Make sure we're catching it. So, that was the winds part. Let's look at the percussion part. So, percussion. A little bit of information before we get into it. Maracas. Maracas, hold maracas by the handle. Use a short, precise wrist motion to shape maracas. Maintain a steady tempo. That's what's hard about this because you've got stuff inside that you can't really, you're not physically moving it yourself. It's moving inside the maraca. Now, claves. You're going to cup your hand, left hand, to form a resonating chamber. This part of your hand would be the resonating chamber. Hold the lower pitch clave in your left hand. Use the clave in your right hand to strike the center of the left clave. We've talked about this in class, finding that sweet spot on the, on the claves. So, one more thing for percussion, you have a rim shot, RS. Rim shot, place tip of left stick on the center of the drum. So, your left hand, that stick in your left hand is going to go on the middle of the drum. The tip of it goes in the middle. Your, your rest stick, I'm sorry, rest stick on rim and hold firmly. Okay? Then you're going to strike with the right stick about one third away from the tip of the stick. Rim shot, RS is the abbreviated form for rim shot. So what you're doing is you're putting the tip of the stick in the middle of the drum, you're resting the other part on the rim so that when you hit it, you're getting a slightly different sound than what we usually get. Okay? So, percussion. This is the snare drum part. One, two, ready, go. Flam, two, and three. Flam, two, and three. Flam, rest. Rim, shot, rest. 
rest. Flam, two and three. Flam, two and three. Flam, rest, rim, shot, rest, rest. And then you have your repeat, so you would go ahead and do it again. Nothing too complicated, just make sure we're getting those flams and rim shots with where our hands need to be. That gets get a little confusing. If you need some extra practice, you can pause it and then keep going in a minute. The bass drum part, let's go ahead and clap and count that. Watch for your accents. One, two, here we go. One, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, rest, rest, two, three. My bad, I said the slightly wrong number at the end. My brain is whoa. Okay, so the maracas part, another part, maraca. You have almost straight eighth notes. Let's clap and count that. One, uh, one, two, three, one, ready, go. One and two and three and one and two and three and one rest. Three one two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one rest. Three one. Pretty fine. Now let's look at the clavis part. One two three one ready go. One rest. Three one rest. Three one rest. Three one two three one. Rest, three, one, rest, three, one, rest, three, one. Pretty fun, right? Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to, I'm going to play it. You're going to shadow play. I need to grab my trumpet really quick, so give me a second. Forgot I had my trumpet over there. So I'm gonna play, you go ahead and shadow play. Oh, forgot to talk about this. Our time signature. Our time signature, we're in 3-4. So that means three beats in a measure. Quarter note gets the beat. All right, here we go. I'll give you six and we're in. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Pro tip, always empty your spit. And try that again because that was really rough. Here we go. One, two, three, one, ready, go. And then you would play the repeat. So, let's go ahead and look at it right before we play it. We start off, our dynamic is... Very good, our dynamic is 14, so we're going to play loud. Sophie, you got him. You got him. Sophie's not happy right now. Oh, I know. I know. It's okay. Ready? You ready? Come on. All right, here we go. One, two, three, one. Here we go. How did you do? I bet you did excellent. And even if not, if you think there's some things that you can do better, go ahead, practice it a few times. Remember, practice makes progress. See you guys later. Have a good day.